My name is Peter Cheke. I'm located in Zabezi. I, I deal in hydroponics. I, I, I make hydroponic systems. Hydroponics means growing plants without soil by use of hydroponics nutrients. Uh, we, we, we grow all vegetables hydroponically. We have uh, hydroponics tomatoes. By this is called the Adachi method, growing hydroponic tomatoes. And what you usually do here is these tomatoes you water just three times per week as opposed to every day if you use the conventional methods. You just water to this point, the water drains, and then you can you can collect the nutrients and then you recycle the you recycle the nutrients. It uses eighty percent less water and the tomatoes can produce three to four times more fruits because you are able to supply the actual amount of the nutrients as the at the water and direction the plants requires, so it reaches its genetic potential. Uh, this is called hydroponic uh, lettuce, uh, last method for growing lettuce. Uh, this system, you set it and you forget it. As you can see here, you have some stones here and a cup which has holes. Uh, here you have hydroponics uh, nutrients in water. So you just set this one, you forget it will take only 30 days to harvest. You can also grow cabbages here. You can grow all kinds of vegetables here, even including herbs. And it, it, it takes 30 to 50 percent faster as compared to the conventional methods of farming. Uh, we have hydroponics lettuce. Hydroponics lettuce. This one is, is another form of dutch bucket, a form of last method. A lettuce will just consume 2.5 liters. So you just put enough of 2.5 liters, including hydro, uh, hydroponics nutrients here, and then you cover like that. So you just set this one also and forget it. You have, we have this method, which are, we, are we are growing uh, spinach. This system, you see, this is a 6-inch PVC pipe. You have... Uh, you have, you have polyvin for for controlling evaporation. You just put water here, contains hydroponics nutrients. It goes like this one, comes back like that one, and like this one, and then you recycle. You, you collect your nutrients there, and then you can recycle. You just water this one two times per week. This uh, spinach, they are out. They are they are only three weeks, three weeks old. You can see how fast they are growing. They are growing about 50% faster growth. And also it is very, they are, it looks very, very healthy. You can also grow uh, strawberries here. You can grow all vegetables. You can even grow the, the, the outdoor uh, tomatoes in this system. Uh, and the best thing with this, this system is if you are limited in land, because uh, what you are having here, the land is scarce and also water is scarce. This one is demonstrating that you can use a very little amount of land at produce a lot of vegetables like the whole of this greenhouse imagine you stack this one how mm. many how many how many times have you multiplied the, the, the one greenhouse yeah you see here. then we have uh, hydroponics uh, strawberries at the uh, dutch bucket method this one is a little bit different from the hydroponics tomatoes whereby you have eliminated the bench here, yeah, the, 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 the outlet uh, pipe is down. Then, in that case, you need to have a, a, a underground reservoir, whereby you just water two times per week. The excess water with the nutrients goes there. Then you can you just take the water at the you, you water every two times. You, you need to here. You need to recycle this water for only two weeks, no more than two, no, no more than two weeks. You also have. This this system, which we want to do uh, another last method, the same like uh, that one. This one you will be able to grow. Uh, you will be able to grow 150 uh, heads of lettuce. Okay. Remember, they are taking only that days to 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 grow. We have this other method, which is actually called uh, hydroponics fodder. Here we grow very hydroponically. One of the requirements of hydroponics fodder is that you need to have a, a housing. We do construct how this housing depending with the we construct housing depending with the where you are so that you can be able to control the temperature. The other requirement is the trees, the hydroponic trees. We supply hydroponic trees which are chemically treated to control the fungi. These these are they are only uh, this is they are second day. You can see they have started germinating after just the second days. They have started germinating in five days. Five days this is for the fourth day. You can see the fourth day. You have about uh, about 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 four inches. And the fourth day, you can you can. This is the seventh day. 
where by now this is where now you feed the, the cows. You feed the cows on the fourth day, the, the pottery, the fourth day, and pigs, the sixth day. We, we, have 50, we have 20 pigs, and they are fed on this one 100%. You don't give the grains. The cows also, you don't give the, the daily meal. This one tray is equivalent to 9 kg of, uh, day, of daily meal. And remember here, you just put 2 kg of the barley seed. So it is very cost effective and it contains all the nutrients the animal requires. Uh, it is able even to support the broilers. The, the broiler chicks, they, they are able to be supported by this one because the, the hydroponics for this one barry uses the hydroponics nutrients, you are able to achieve 25% protein because of the hydroponics nutrients. The nitrogen component of hydroponics nutrients uh, increases the protein of the fodder, so it becomes very nutritious. So if you use hydroponics nutrient, you're not go, you are not going to supplement an animal. If, if it is a pig, uh, p uh, cows, or even uh, goats, you are not going to supplement with the multivitamins uh, or DCP. Uh, it has all the nutrients the animal, the animal requires. So it, it becomes very eco effective. If somebody said this is the best, I would say this is the best feed to live on land. Because this is a right food, the quality is assured. Because what we have, uh, the challenges we are having is that the, the, the quality of the feeds and the prices are very high. And the only thing we can predict is the prices will become, still become, uh, continue to be volatile. Mm. And this one, the best thing with the barley seed, we have, uh, we have farmers who have, have con co co subcontracted, and the, the price is actually constant. So you, are, you will be able to. to to budget, you'll be able to know the amount of uh, you'll be able to know uh, the amount of money you'll be using to, to feed the animals, the pigs, uh, cats, or all the all livestock. Why do you think uh, this hydroponic system is popular with the young people, especially Wakulimayan? This is will be popular to young people uh, because labor. Uh, there's no labor. In, uh, the labor is very minimal. And also because you are not using soil, you'll be able to grow a lot of feeds. And also this one, you can even do it as, a, as a, you can start selling the feeds uh, within a very short period. Remember, this fodder grows within seven days. Conventionally, it takes 12 weeks. So anybody, uh, in, uh, even young people, will be, be attracted by, uh, being attracted by this system because they are able to get the money very, very fast. You get, uh, you start uh, earning uh, money uh, uh, very fast. Any message you have for the Mukulimayang? What I would say is that all oh, Mukulimayang, you should go back to uh, farming and use this technology of hydroponics. Uh, because what uh, what is uh, discouraging farmers, even the young people, is because of the rain-fed agriculture. Uh, and here, because uh, because uh, hydroponics uses 80% less water, and also use it uh, use a very little am amount of rat to produce a, a lot of feeds. Then this, I think, is the best option for everybody, even the Mukimaya.